What's up guys, the May Patreon rewards are now available. Cyclonic Rift, Jace the Mind Sculptor, and Avison Angel of Hope are all available through the end of the month. If you'd like to support our channel and pick up these sweet proxies, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves or by clicking the link in the description below. What is going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video today. Uh, yes, you read the description right. We're playing Mono White Cats. Uh, this is going to be silly. I was, uh, to, to give some context, just to clarify, I was searching for a few decks that I, I kind of wanted to play. Um, I know Adam as well, uh, a few other people in fact, uh, did suggest some decks. So we were kind of looking through those. But I found, I kind of stumbled upon this one and I was like, you know... I gotta try it. Like, you can't not try cats. So, we're gonna try it. Um, it is a Kahira deck. Uh, we've actually got three in total. We've got two in the main and one as our companion. Obviously, a lord for all of our cats. Uh, give them plus one, plus one, but it also gives them vigilance, which is really, really good. Because uh, it just means we can be aggressive, but not uh, leave down our defenses as well. Uh, now, in the one drop slot, uh, we do have four Charm Stray. Uh, every time one of these comes into play, you get a 1-1 one -one counter on all of the other Charm Strays. So, they buff each other. Plus, they have Life Links, so that's actually going to be really, really handy. Uh, Garrison Cat, uh, a 1-1 one -one for 1. When it dies, you get another 1-1 one -one Human Soldier token, uh, which is actually really, really nice. Against a lot of the aggro decks and stuff like that, if you need to block, you still get a, uh, a creature left behind. Now, he will not get buffed by, you know, any of our little lords here, but that's okay. Uh, Twilight Panther uh, is a 1, 2, 4, 1, uh, and you can pay a black and give it Death Touch, but if you notice, right over here, we don't have any black. We're, we're not going to be giving this thing Death Touch. Uh, this is literally just a 1, 2 vanilla creature in our deck, uh, which seems great. Uh, moving to the 2 drop slot, we've got Pouncing Lynx uh, as a 4 of. Uh, it's a 2, 1 that has Conditional First Strike. Um, on our turn, it has First Strike. Yep, uh, Ajani's Pride Mate is actually an all-star card. Uh, we see this in mono whitelist pretty much everywhere. Uh, anytime you gain life, you get a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Uh, this is just a really, really strong card. We've got a lot of life linkers, a lot of ways to gain life, and so this is perfect. Uh, if we look at our 3-drop slot here, we've already talked to Kahira, 2 Unbreakable Formation. Uh, this is a really, really nice card for this deck, actually. Giving all of your stuff indestructible can mean the difference between you know, a really, really good follow-up turn or losing the game kind of thing. Uh, and so I'm I'm actually happy to see a couple of these in here. Uh, very, very happy. Uh, giving all of them a plus one, plus one counter and vigilance as well would be amazing uh, if we can do this at the right time. Uh, Icon of Ancestry, kind of an engine card for this deck. It does, uh, obviously we're going to choose Cat, but uh, it is a Lord essentially, so all of them are going to get plus one, plus one. Uh, and then you can pay three, tap it, and look at the top three cards of your deck, pull out a cat from those three cards, uh, and then put that one into your hand. So this is just a really, really strong card for this deck. Really, any tribal deck. Uh, looking at the four drop slot, we've got Cub Warden, uh, which is a new card that I am tremendously impressed by. I've played with it a couple times. Uh, anytime you mutate this, it feels good. You're getting a three for one value right off the bat. Uh, so getting a 3-5 out uh, onto something and then getting also those two 1-1 one, one lifelinkers is really, really nice. This also has lifelink. All buffing the Ajani's Pride Mate is the idea. Uh, and so this is just a really strong card. Um, Huntmaster Liger. Uh, not really played with this card much, though I have seen it in a few lists. Uh, and I do actually really like it. I think it's nice to be able to buff your team every time you mutate this. Uh, and then, you know, we are kind of a go-wide strategy. So, like... It'll, it'll have some value, I think, there. Uh, Ajani Strength of the Pride is our only Planeswalker, but a really good one for this deck. It can spit out more Ajani's Pride Mate if we would like it to. Uh, plus, it'll gain us some life, and if we can get to uh, that, uh, that 15 more life than our starting life total, uh, we can do some major, major damage to the opponent. So this is a really, really strong card. Uh, looking at our lands, we've got 23, uh, 19 Planes, and 4 Idyllic Grange. Uh, which hopefully are going to be putting some 1-1 one -one counters on some stuff. We will see. Um, worth noting, I didn't build this deck. I did find it, and I did choose to play it, so that's on me. But, eh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to try something else out. So, uh, really quick, too. Uh, if you're interested in picking up these islands, uh, these, only these, uh, right now are available in our online store. We finally created an online store. We're excited about it. So... 
sure. Um, if you would like to pick those up, you certainly can. Uh, itresolvesmtg.com is where you can go to pick those up. Uh, we would really appreciate the support. We do have quite a lot more coming. Um, in fact, the whole cycle of Basic Lands uh, will be available hopefully within the week. They're on their way. Uh, so if you are excited about that, uh, which I certainly hope you are, then stay tuned. They will be there very soon. All right, we dealt one. Feeling good. We're gonna pouncing links. I assume this is like a flash deck. Yeah. Anytime you lead on like an island, it's like okay, you're probably a flash deck. Yep. Ooh, good. Good, good. Please a land. Please a land. That's not a land. All right. Well. Not good for us, but we're going to do it. Oh, guys, this deck doesn't seem good. We didn't have very good luck uh, yesterday either uh, with our Rakdos aggro deck. It was really, really bad. Yeah. Ugh. Maybe we should just pick better decks. That seems like a good idea. Um. If we draw a land, we can get Kahira out. I mean, chances are we're going to be running into... Ah, uh, no. Okay. Well, this doesn't actually help us at all. So that's good. Um, conditional first strike. Coming in clutch. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I love it. This is so silly. <laughs> Only good thing is this does count towards itself. That's kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> good old coffee. So this is not a flash deck necessarily. I mean, they're running Stone Coil Serpent and they're opting on their turn. Either it's a flash deck or they're not playing it right, is kind of the way I'm seeing it. Well, that's a card. Uh, how much do you want to bet there's a quench? How much right now? Let's try. They're totally going to quench. You wait. You wait. They're going to quench it. Ready? Wait for it. Oh, essence capture. Okay. Different. I like it. Um, well, then I think we have to pass. I think we had to go for it there, though. Uh, it would have really led to a devastating turn if they didn't have anything, so I think it was worth it to try. Um, like, I don't think that was a, a crazy misplay of any kind. Okay, well, that's actually pretty helpful. We'll see if this actually works, but... It would be helpful. How much you want to bet? Counter. Right now. They're going to have another counter. Oh. Um, we'll go over. Yes. We got some cats. All right. Let's go. Sure. They have like a bounce spell. Yep, they got a bounce fill. All right, well, we got our two one ones out of it. Sorry, I just hit the mic there. Uh, sorry if we get a frame rate drop, by the way. Um, my fiance is also at work. Uh, and by at work, I mean she is on Zoom meetings at the moment. And so our network is being zapped in two different directions. Okay, so we can play this and hmm. Let's try again. I'm going to assume they have another counter. Or another way to deal with it. We have so many 1-1s. One it's delightful. 
This is just a matter of we don't have anything to block a flyer. <laughs> is literally the takeaway here. Well, that sucks. We gain three. Crucial. We need, like, a lord. Like, Kahira would have been awesome, but... Really? If I just have a bounce spell, it's bad, right? We're just gonna... Oh, this has trample. Well, that was useless. That's okay. Pretty sure we just lost, for the record. They have six open mana. And a full grip of cards. We have four cards, all of which are just fantastic. Um, <laughs> to be fair, though, this did go wide pretty well. Yeah, they only spent three. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and concede. There's no way. They've got flyers enough that they can kill us just that way. So I'm conceding. All right, let's go ahead and to... Uh, Game two. Uh, that, I mean, what I will say, had we hit our lands on time, which, you know, was probably a bad keep on my part. Like, you know, it might have been okay. Probably not. Um, regardless, it was kind of fun. Like, it felt okay. Um, up until, you know, they had a flyer. Um, ooh, ooh, major frame rate drop. Major frame rate. Sorry, guys. We'll do the best we can. To make this a quick one. Alright, land. Uh, Twilight Panther. What are we up against? Yorian? <laughs> Dumb card. Probably should have gone the Charm Stray route, actually. That was a mistake. Um, so sorry for the frame rates, guys. I know they're terrible. Like I said, the network is being pulled in a couple different directions at the moment. Doing the best we can to make this a quick one. A banishing light, huh? It's kind of okay. I mean, I don't love it, but... This is so silly. If we win, I will be amazed. I highly doubt we will. Really, really sorry about the frame rates, guys. This network issue has gotten way out of hand in our area. My voice crack issue has gotten way out of hand. But it's been really, really bad lately. Uh, they could very easily just have, like, a shatter. I mean, it is what it is. Or not. Evolving Wilds? Really? Why not just run Fable Passage? That seems way worse. Uh, okay, well. Might as well set up for on the off chance they... Ah, uh, counter. Okay. <laughs> Worth it. I assume they have Shatter. Our frame rates are back, so that's good. I assume they're just going to go for it here. I was trying to set up for... Yeah. Oh, that's good. Loud. Hmm. -hmm. Let's just get this down. Kind of need to stick threats. Uh, if they've got double shatter, they've got it. But we, we kind of have to get something out here. Um, this is helpful, though. Uh... If we can land this without hitting an absorb. Wow, rude. All right, well. I 
I mean, we gotta, gotta do it. That's fine. Neutralize, huh? And they do have it o up at the moment. Cycle it. They're not gonna cycle it. That would be stupid. All right. Um. Woo. Let's go. Let's charm stray. We can't just run this out. Not straight into a neutralize. That's silly. Ah, feels bad, guys. I mean, this deck is fun, though. I will say, I mean, we've gotten them down pretty far. That, to me, is an accomplishment. <laughs> Glass casket, huh? Sure. Worth it. Oops, there we go. Yep. Gain your three. Yorian, huh? So this does give us the opportunity to land the Icon of Ancestry, which is something. But, I mean, it's not really going to be great, let's just be honest. Worth it. Well, gonna say cat. Go ahead, whoops, go ahead and activate. Um, can't really attack, cause, you know, bigger stuff. Oh, guys, this deck is silly. It's fun. Essence scatter, yeah. That's pretty good. This does give us an attack. Mine as well. Definitely going to kill the Orion first. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this. Let's see what we can get. Oh, that's quite good. Hmm. This is going to get countered. In fact, they've got two counters, so this is definitely going to get countered. Three counters. Pardon. Two wasn't enough. Gotta have that third one, just in case, guys. Just in case. I'm gonna say we're getting outvalued. This is great. Icon of Ancestry, perfect. Exactly the card we want. Does it really help us right now? No, not really. Multiple Narsets, multiple counters. Good thing this doesn't draw. That would suck. Are they going to bounce it? Oh, you're a douche. Not really. I'm just being entertaining. I don't know. Oh, they're not going to bounce it. Okay. Yeah. We failed to find. Wow. All right. Obviously, this is going to get countered. They knew we had it, so there was no reason really to hang on to it. But hey, we got our garrison cat out. Mm-hmm. Another essence scatter. 
Wow, they are just not wanting to deal with creatures. <laughs> sure. Yep. It's pretty good when you can actually cast Boon of the Wishgiver. That's pretty solid. Pay six, draw four. I'm in. Worth noting, I'm sticking this game out because our frame rates got back. If they get bad again, we're dipping out because there's like no way we win this. Just so we're clear. Uh, good time to mention again. If you want to buy these islands, go buy these islands. We'd certainly appreciate it. Um, all right, go, go. <laughs> counter it, please counter a charm stray. Yes. Oh, I love it. They countered a charm stray. And we failed to find again. What? You know it's bad when the opponent counters a charm stray. <laughs> Field of ruin, huh? That really doesn't help all that much. <laughs> Considering our amazing land base. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they're not, like, just attacking. I suppose we should do this first. Yep. And let's eat the neutralize. We have to burn through them. Oh, no, pardon me. An absorb. Yep. We can't even attack. Like, this is so bad. I'm giving this one more turn. Icon is kind of giving me false hope, uh, is the sad part, because we're drawing like two cards a turn, essentially. Because um, we've got more than enough mana to play anything, but like, there's just, there's just no way, guys. They still have a neutralize in hand. They're drawing more. There's just no way. They also just scribed two to the top, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're we're gonna go ahead and concede. There's no hope. We don't have any card that can get through a counter and a shark typhoon. There's no way. All right, this is going well. Okay, let's try. One last game uh, with this very silly cat stack. Worth noting, guys, here's a life lesson by uh, yours truly, who clearly knows so much about life. A little life lesson, though. Sometimes you gotta just have fun. And what I will say is, this deck is pretty fun. It's not good, and we've not won a single game, and that's okay. It's all about having fun. We made Cat Tribal. Specifically, we didn't even make it. We just found it and decided to play it. So we're playing Cat Tribal. But it's fun. It's all good. It's not always about winning. It's about having fun. Uh, next turn, we'll play the Kahira from our hand and then ideally follow it up with one of these the following turn if we don't lose. <laughs> Luris Sacrifice, so they're going to probably... Oh, this is the enchantment one, so they're going to have, like, dead weights and stuff. So they're probably going to be able to kill this. But Cub Warden, if we can... If we can leave a creature on the field and just, um... Mutate out a Cub Warden, it's actually not bad. Get that out. Yeah, we'll go ahead and attack here, that's fine. We have Vigilance, so why not? <laughs> Good news is we do have a backup Kahira as well. So that's okay. And they do only have one black mana open, so that's somewhat good news. Uh, they could deadweight one of these two things, which would suck, but that's annoyingly frustrating. 
I'm gonna put a counter on this. All that means is they have to have Myers Graph, not um, they can't just dead weight that. I'm just gonna swing in with this. I'm not gonna worry about swinging in here. Um, I don't think that's the right thing to worry about. Cool card though. Nice little interaction there. Uh, we actually played a very similar list to this. We didn't run uh, Transcendent and Envoy, but very similar list uh, just a couple days ago, I think. I don't think it was all that long ago. The decks start to run together after you play them literally every single day, but um, pretty sure it wasn't very long ago. And this one may be like, very much a lot more focused on the Starfield Mystics than our initial list was, but that's cool. That is fine. Let's get a Johnny out. We're going to spit out a 2-2 uh, two -two here. It's going to grow a heck of a lot faster than their Starfield Mystic, so it's going to be something they got to deal with. We also get the Garrison Cat out, which is just so helpful. Uh, probably just going to attack with the Cub Warden here. Right? I mean, we can attack with these two, but they just kind of die. That does have Vigilance, but then we lose out on a lot. So, yeah, I'm just going to do this. Let's go, opponent. What you going to do? Uh, good news about these decks, usually at least, they do not run sweepers, which means um, I don't feel too bad about overcommitting. Um, and, you know, with a Planeswalker and a Garrison Cat, I mean, good news about Garrison Cat, it does drop a token when it dies, so, like, even if they did sweep, we would at least have something uh, to protect our Ajani with. Uh, next turn, we can start gaining some life, too. And if we can, we might actually be able to get up to above that 15 mark, which would be pretty sweet. This is a cool interaction here that they've got going on, uh, but this is not going to not gonna win them the game. I'll be more than happy to chump block with one of these 2-2s two that'll, uh, that'll gain me a little bit more life and pump this guy up. Um, we're also... Oh, that's cool. Um... With them only having one black and one card in hand, I also, like, am not terribly worried about dead weights and Myers Grasps. Like, this would be the best target for a Myers Grasp, 100%, but we've got a backup, so I don't really care that much. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Let's mutate on here. Under. That's a pretty cool board. I will say that. Um, we thrive when we support. That seems good. That seems really good. Not gonna lie, that felt really good. <laughs> We're just attacking all. They can, they can, you know, figure out the blocks. I don't really care that much. This is a fun deck, so. Very, very fun and very, very silly. Um, next turn, we can just uh, <laughs> zero out our Ajani uh, and exile their stuff. Also, exiling, worth noting, is way worse in a deck with Luris, so... <laughs> I mean, these will die, so they're not going to get counters. They can lure us and play stuff back next turn. But worth noting, none of our guys have trample. There is that. In a weird way, this cat deck is working, guys. 
we're probably I'm just I'm not gonna jinx it you never know we might lose okay I guess that works just to keep something and you trade or you kill this trade yeah 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 okay oh that's pretty good Good thing we have backup. This is very, very strong. This is also strong. And this is about to exile their board. <laughs> we have well over 15 our starting life total. I'm loving this silly deck, guys. I'll be honest. It's kind of fun. Um, yeah, they can do this all they want. Play as many creatures as you want. Please. Please play as many creatures as you want. Perfect. Perfect. That just means they can't sacrifice this. Oh. Oh, why not? Why not? We'll put a counter here. Again, just to protect it. Bye. Guys. Guys, we did it. <laughs> we beat somebody with cats. Oh, I love it. Uh, with 51 life. All right. Okay. We won one. Uh, all right, so here's the deal. This deck is silly. Oh, yay. Let's uh, let's open a pack. Let's open a pack really quick. I'm going to guess we just get gems. We've got most of this set at this point. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, this deck was never meant to be tier one. It was never meant to be amazing, but it is meant to be fun. And I will say all of the games, even the two that we lost, were pretty fun. Uh, the Yorian one kind of got a little bit of a struggle, but we got to see Icon of Ancestry kind of do its thing, which was cool. Um, but that last game was really fun. I mean, no, it wasn't against a crazy good deck, but like, you know, we still got somewhere. So I'm happy with this. I think it's silly. We are going to give this another video, so we will see that very, very soon. Uh, we'll kind of sum up our thoughts as a whole on the deck at that point, so you can uh, look forward to checking that one out. Um, I do certainly hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will check out our website as well. Again, if you're interested in picking up those islands, you can right now. Uh, the rest of the land cycle will be available very soon, and we do have more things coming to the store very soon as well. Um, I've been working, uh, my fiance has actually been helping me uh, tremendously to get some other things in there, so that way we can get uh, a little bit more out to you guys. So that's the plan. Uh, I do hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment down below. And I will see you very, very soon with part two with this mono white cat stack. Uh, see you guys then. Thanks.